Hello club and welcome back to Club Kitchen. This time we're going to be making a giant cookie, which is very exciting. So I'm going to tell you what ingredients you need. So you need 225 grams of plain flour. You need 160 grams of brown sugar. You need 150 grams of unsalted butter, some Smarties. I don't think I actually have enough, so you get a lot of Smarties. An egg, some bicarbonate of soda, some vanilla extract, some almond extract. If you haven't got this, don't worry. Some salt, a frying pan, and possibly a lid for the frying pan as well. Great, let's get cracking. The first thing we're going to do is take our frying pan over to the hob and melt our butter on the heat. We're adding our butter to the pan and we're going to let that gently melt. So now that it's melted, we're going to add the sugar and stir it until it's dissolved. So now that we have stirred our sugar into our butter, we're just gonna leave it to cool. We've turned off the heat and we're gonna leave it to cool for a little bit. In the meantime, we're gonna take our egg and crack it into a jug. And then we're going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then half a teaspoon of almond extract. I'm going to beat that together. Okay, now I'm just going to give this a quick rinse. Now we're going to add half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda to our flour. And then half a teaspoon of salt. And then we'll give that a little stir. Okay, now comes the fun bit because we're going to mix it all together, but in the pan. Okay, so we're going to add the flour mixture to the frying pan. Then add the eggy mixture. and then stir it together until it looks like cookie batter. Okay, the mixture will start to come together and start to look like cookie dough. So now that's happened, you wanna press it down flat with your spoon. Just press it down flat with a spatula or a spoon. So it's pressed in nice and firm to the frying pan. Okay, now it's all flattened, we're gonna do the exciting bit and put the Smarties on top. Look how good that looks. We're gonna now leave it on a low heat for 15 to 20 minutes. And if the bottom starts to catch, you can put a lid on it so that it kind of encases the heat inside it. But just keep an eye on it, basically. Come back in 15 minutes. I'm just gonna put a lid on mine because the bottom is starting to catch. Okay, 
Okay, so that is done, and you can tell because the top is a little bit gooey, but the bottom is nice and crispy. We're going to take that off the heat and leave it for about 15 minutes to set before we eat it. When you've done yours, it'd be awesome to see pictures and enjoy. Bye, club.